There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi gang and welcome to my third video today um, and this video is a bit of a follow-up from the, the previous two. Um, in the first one I showed you how to take a piece of copy and in our case I used the example from the Amazon product description and ultimately rewrite that to make it more slippery. Um, in the second video I showed you how to get a unique affiliate link um, for that product uh, from Amazon itself and in this third video I'm going to be showing you how to take the picture I asked you to save off in the first video and change its size. Now you're probably asking why I'm actually asking you to do this. Um, you have to bear with me on that one. On, on Wednesday we're going to be releasing a, a very unique piece of software to the 30 day challenge which um, I'm not even going to go into right this moment but as part of that release you're going to be having to create a unique piece of content, a slippery piece of content. You're going to need a product image, whether it's a, from Amazon or again from like Clickbank. And in another video, I'm going to go over um, taking some stuff out of Clickbank. Um, and ultimately, you're going to use the picture, the copy and the unique link to create um, a unique piece of content, which hopefully people coming to the site will then go and click on the link and ultimately buy something from you. So you're going to have to bear with me about why we're really doing this um, and just follow through the process. I want to get you up to speed before you actually need to do it. And that's why I'm putting together this tutorial today. Now, if we head over here. Um, as you can see, we have the Amazon page from before and the, the price guide image. Now, for the purposes of what we're going to use this image for, this image itself is, is too large. And again, if you're using like some ClickBank images or something from a different site, the images there's a good chance that the images are going to be way too large uh, for what we actually want. So again, I just want to show you how to take this image um, and make it smaller and save it again. So if you look at this image, um, you can right click here and scroll down to properties. And at the moment, it's saying that the image is 240 pixels by 240 pixels wide. Now, from that may sound completely like gibberish to you, but just a quickie, it's a, a pixel is every single dot that is on your monitor. And so this picture itself is 240 dots across by 240 dots down. And you don't really need to know why or how that works, but ultimately, um, this picture is way too large for what we need. We actually need this picture to be 150 pixels across. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a service called Picnic. And I'm just going to head over there now. Okay, now Picnic is a completely, utterly free image manipulation website. Um, there's lots of desktop software out there like uh, Photoshop which allows you to manipulate images and remove things like red eye and, and crop images and, uh, and do absolutely wonderful things. But Picnic is like an online version of that and it's again it's like totally and utterly free. I mean they do have a premium service but for what you actually need uh, for the challenge then the free service is absolutely perfect and it's a really quick and easy way um, to manipulate an image. So if it's the very first time you've actually been here, you'll see a uh, home screen which says get started and then you've given the option to actually register. Um, now I've registered previously so I'm just going to enter my username and password here and click the sign in button. Okay, so it's signed in and the next thing I need to do is upload that um, picture I saved off beforehand. So you go up here to the very top and click on the photos button. Now this button here, get photo, as soon as you click this, it'll open up a browser to try and find the, the file on your computer. And in my case, I'll navigate to my projects directory and upload the vintage guitar.jpg file I saved off um, earlier. So let me just do that now. and upload and as you can see it's actually uploading the image there and there we have it okay now again this is going to be a really short tutorial because this is a really really simple process um, all you actually really need to do is go to the resize option here click this and it's saying here that the image is 240 pixels across by 240 pixels down and we need to change that to 150 across now, 
One thing to make sure is that the keep proportions button is actually ticked there. And what that means is if we if the pixel the picture is 240 pixels across and we actually shrink it that way, then it'll also shrink it proportionally um, that way as well. So we need to make sure that that's ticked. So I'm just going to change this to 150. And as you can see, it's made the picture smaller. If I really were to go silly, I could change that to 15 or 1500. But back to 150 and click on the OK button. OK, so that's the image um, reduced. And the next step really is to hit the Save and Share button. So it's asking for a file name, vintage guitars, you've got the width set here. And it's asking what type of format you want to actually save this image as. And there's like JPEG, PNG, GIF, and, and so on. Um, I say for photographs and so on, leave it as JPEG. It usually gets the best quality for compression. And again, it's saying here, what kind of level of compression do you want? Really, you don't have to worry about that. Just leave it on the default number eight. That's almost always adequate for everything you really need. And finally, you hit the Save Photograph button. And again, it's preparing the image. And then it'll ask, where do you want to save onto your computer? And I'm just going to save this as Vintage Guitars Small. Uh, I've already saved it previously, but I'm replacing it. And that's it. That image has now been saved. And really, guys, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, as we get closer to Wednesday, um, we'll be sharing some more uh, tutorials on, on doing things like this. And you'll get a better understanding of why we're actually asking you to do this now. So go ahead, go find your product, go and get your copy written, get an affiliate link, um, save your picture off, change it to 150 pixels across. And um, until the next video, catch you later. There is no charge for awesomeness.